and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Tina, good morning Amy, good morning Paul Cottrell, Steve Milne, hi guys, Ty Finnimore, uh, we're off in 10 seconds and we're going to start, oh no, I'm not moving, I'm not moving, that's really annoying, I'm not moving, why am I not moving, oh damn it, okay, okay, pair, unpair, unpair, repair, how annoying is that? Let's see if I can uh, get moving now. Yeah, okay. Good. I'll just catch the guys up. A slight mishap there. Just a uh, lack of uh, connection.
up we go to 12%. Oh, Clive's disappeared as well. That's odd. Uh, so Kobe and Miles have uh, gone off like the clappers ahead of us. They're just doing what they like. Uh, Tina says, I'm still dead from last night. Uh, Amy says she's just watching because uh, she's got an appointment at half ten. Uh, Paul Cotterell is supposed to be at work. He says, I go back 1st of April after a year of shielding, completely forgotten my job. Are you not, so are you not working from home? Oh, running, oh, running, oh, he's got a running workout at uh, 10.30, I see. Gosh, cardiac drift is a tough one. Uh, Causa Mortis on uh, uh, Twitch says, how do I decrease my cardiac drift? Um, often, cardiac drift is just something that happens. Uh, but the more you run and the more you run in low heart rate, uh, the more you will be able to control your cardiac drift. It's just about volume and it's just about um, a, a strong aerobic base. And the way you build a strong aerobic base is uh, by running in low heart rate regularly. So a lot of your running in low heart rate. So, uh, welcome along to the Film My Run 500. So what this is, if you've never seen it before, is basically just a 500 meter climb. When I say 500 meters, 500 meters in elevation. The distance is 4.2 kilometers. And if we travel 4.2 kilometers with an elevation of 12% on the treadmill, that will get us a 500 meter climb. 500 meters into the sky. So that's what we're doing. And uh, at the moment, we're just walking it out to get used to uh, the feeling of the incline in our legs. And when we get to the archway, which is just up ahead, we will start a gentle jog. And uh, we'll jog all the way to the end, slightly increasing the speed at every kilometer. Um, but the other important thing is that we're going to use our calf muscles to climb. So we're climbing using our calves and our quadriceps, not our hamstrings. And uh, by the end, we should feel like we've done some work. <laughs> Once we start running, get up onto our toes to use our calf muscles for the climb. through the archway and we'll start running. And the 
idea is to keep on our toes for the whole period, the whole time from the beginning in a second to the end. Try not to fall back onto your heels for the rest of the run once we hit this arch. Thanks, Mura, for the ride on. And Kapka, thank you. Okay, here we go. 5.5 kilometers an hour. And now we start jogging. Okay, gentle jog. So it's just important to start relaxed. Well, and to stay relaxed for the whole run if you can. Nice and easy. Also, through the magic of Zwift, I can tell if your treadmill is at 12% or not. Okay, Amy has bought some uh, cupboards for the garage to try and get a nicer setup. And she says she's jealous of some people's paint caves. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm very lucky to have a, a nice shed at the end of the garden where I can stick everything. I think painting it white helps. I think when you paint something white, as long as you keep it clean, it looks, it looks clean and it looks bright. I know it's difficult in a garage where uh, often you've got a lot of other junk as well. But I don't know how many people remember my first shed before this one was built. The shed I had before, <laughs> I used to, the, uh, the lawn mower was a prominent feature of all my streams. Clive says he's got to wait for a child to move out before he can gain a pain cave. <laughs> your, uh, your conservatory is nice though because it's, it's bright and um, you can see the outside. And I imagine you can open windows and doors and get some fresh air in there. It's the people down in basements I feel sorry for. People who are stuck in the... Uh, Oh, hang on a minute, why is that, camp why is that not on? Ah. For some reason, that camera turned itself off. It does that sometimes. Camera four turns itself off for no reason sometimes. Uh, Monica says, you need, you need a shed, Clive. Yeah. Garden shed. That's where I started. Little run-down, broken garden shed at the bottom of the garden. And you look back on all my old streams from four years ago, five years ago, and you can see me running in the treadmill, on the treadmill in the shed in the garden before this one. 
quite a long time, I was in the kitchen as well. But you couldn't tell that because I used a green screen a lot of the time then. I kind of went off using the green screen. I don't know why. I just, I never... I never thought the green screen was good enough. Oh dear. Right, Amy's not allowed to have a shed in the back garden. Uh, Monica's off for a swim. Enjoy, Monica. Have a good one. Gosh, it's early for you, isn't it? What time is it? 9.47 in the UK. Must be about five o'clock in the morning for you, is it? Even earlier, maybe. Four o'clock in the morning. should still feel very comfortable. My heart rate is 122, cadence 162. Well, Monica, that is good work, getting up so early. You, honestly, you won't find... This is early for me. Nine, running at 9.30 in the morning is early for me. Right, Sebastian's heart rate is 131. Cadence is 143. Look, it always amazes me how uh, low Sebastian's cadence is. Big, long strides, for Seb. said. OK, here we go, 6 kph now. A bit quicker now. Keep it going. Oh, Monica's had a lie in today. She slept in until 5 a.m. Good grief. That's nearly afternoon for you, isn't it, Monica? Clive's wife likes it that Clive is in the conservatory. It means she can still chat to him whilst he's running. So she still feels like you exist then, Clive. That's the thing. <laughs> so we've done one kilometre. We've still got three to go. No, uh, Monica, conserva so conservatory, you're right, in, uh, in many um, interpretations, a conservatory is, is a library, uh, but in, in this case, most people, when they say a conservatory, what they mean is an addition to the house on the back, which is made mainly of glass. And it's kind of a lounging room where you can put chairs and sit in, sit in the, the warmth of the sunshine without actually being outside. Yeah, you could have a dining table in there as well and sit down and eat, but it's, mo it's mostly the, the ceiling ceiling and the sides are all glass so it's very very light and it often gets very hot in the summertime <laughs> I didn't notice your family eating behind you Clive that would be that would be a nice addition to film my run video 5k wouldn't it would be other people in your video So we should have a who else is in your house 
uh, filmed my run video 5k like a winter garden okay yes said so, yeah um, yeah winter if you think of a winter garden so a big glass house it's like that except smaller on the side look it up and show you one, couldn't I? That's a conservatory. You can have really big ones or small ones or whatever. Just tacked onto the side of your house. So in Germany, that is called the Winter Garden. So one of those little houses on the tacked on the side, one of those little rooms tacked on the side, made of glass in Germany is called a Winter Garden. There you go. Didn't know that. <laughs> Clive says during the 100 miler, the neighbours could see me running away all night. <laughs> what what 100 miler is that, Clive? I, I don't remember. Don't remember any 100 miler. It's faded like a distant nightmare into the back of my brain. I've, I've shoved it down into the depths of despair. memory. 100 miles? No, don't remember that. Don't remember that. <laughs> Might do it again one day. You never know. I'm thinking the next challenge should be Everest though. We should do 9,000 meters of climbing in one day. I reckon it'll take us about 16 to 17 hours to do the uh, 9,000 meters of climbing. Yeah, Monica doesn't remember 100 miles either. No. Right, you can't see it because of the light, unfortunately, but if that, 
does say 12% just here. It says 12 anyway. to the next increase of pace. We'll go up to 6.5 kilometers an hour. It's, it's near a 9,000 meters. Seven. For Everest, I think it is near a 9,000 meters. slower than this. The thing is, you'd have to run some of it, wouldn't you? You couldn't... You couldn't, um, walk it all. Uh, Monica, we're doing a 4.2 kilometer run. Uh, Monica's going to do a 4.2 kilometer swim. Uh, luckily, though, she says it's on the flat, uh, so no hills in the swimming pool. Gosh, that would be hard, wouldn't it? Swimming uphill, can you imagine? <laughs> Even if you could get the water to stay still. kilometers left to go to the end of the film my run 500 just two kilometers keep running guys session that sounds good um, Steve Milne says surprisingly my legs don't feel too bad this morning 
I'm not sure I can join you all tonight as number one son has a Zoom karate session. Nice. Mind you, yeah, if he can be bothered, that sounds like my son as well. <laughs> my, uh, my youngest is, uh, was doing karate at school uh, before the lockdown. He hasn't done it for a year. But yeah, Zoom karate sounds a good idea. So we're gradually chipping away at it here. You are 40 miles into a 50 mile race. You are being caught from behind. You have to run for our height. Mark Samuel's daughter is moaning already. I'm going to take my daughter out after to start couch to 5K. Good stuff, get her out there. Get her out there. We, we sometimes try and persuade our kids to come running with us. It sometimes works. Don't do anything for a couple of days, buddy. You'll be okay. Hey Steve, if he likes the treadmill, let him get on that treadmill. Uh, Monica, Victoria ate an awful lot of cake last night. I'm not sure we've got any left. Sebastian, since I upgraded my computer, the uh, YouTube delay has been a lot less. So yeah, it's, it's much better. Delay is much better now. Thank you for your dropping ride-ons. Much appreciated. <laughs> Lee Burchard, thank you very much, buddy. Um, Sebastian's cadence and heart rate are both 152. Says, 
I'll be doing this next month during the Smuggler's Way Challenge. 44 miles from Boss Castle to Loo across Bodmin Moor. North coast Cornwall to south coast. Nice one. Lee Riby is doing the St Cuthbert's Way Ultra in July, struggling. 40 minutes on here. Doing all right. Doing all right. Just keep doing these sessions, Lee, and the strength will come. Okay, avatars are running now. Let's get those avatars running. Seven kilometers an hour now for the final kilometer. And then we've got a little 200 meter sprint at the end. Andrew Cutmore, good morning, buddy. Three kilometers in now, 1.2 left. 10 minutes of running, nine and a half. Those toes work those calf muscles. Your quadriceps may be feeling this as well. Jeff, appreciate it. Less than a kilometer to go now to the end. enjoying reading the 8020 book. I enjoyed the, hi the history is really good, isn't it? The history of interval training and uh, and slow running and all that stuff is really really interesting backstory. Uh, Steve Milne says I get pain in my neck and back between my shoulder blades when I run more than a few miles. I try to relax, but it gets quite sore. Any ideas why? Uh, yes, just tension. I'm the same, actually, Steve. I'm not very good at relaxing my shoulders and keeping my arms relaxed. And it's all about form. It's all about good form. So I tend to hunch up. I find that I hunch my shoulders up and I should just drop them. 
and my thought is that you're probably doing the same, which leads to tension in your back and the top of your neck. And uh, it can be quite sore. If I am doing a long race, I do often take paracetamol to help with that. Don't take ibuprofen, certainly not in a long distance race. But um, yeah, just have to keep telling yourself to drop your shoulders. Drop your shoulders and relax, always. And, I, and I've been running for years and I still have to tell myself, I still have to remind myself. Seven hundred meters to go. Right on. So I'm doing Paris tonight for the Under Armour Run the Worlds event. Six PM UK time if you want to join me. Six PM UK. We'll be running around Paris in the Under Armour Run the Worlds event and uh, that'll be my last one for that event, for that uh, series. So I'll have done all five Run the Worlds races or events. So I'll get entered into a, entered into a prize draw to win some real Under Armour shoes. And the Under Armour shoes have a built-in foot pod, so you can run on Zwift using that foot pod as your speed source, if you like. I don't know how accurate it is, as I've never tested them before. Ah, but it's something, isn't it? Uh, so Amy is getting her cupboards today. She says, fingers crossed, I'll get my setup looking lovely by tonight. Nice. Take a photo for us, Amy. Put it up. Uh, Lee Burchard says, uh, runners and cyclists are the worst at flexibility work. Add some stretches into your training and that can help, yeah? So I, I have to admit, I am terrible with stretching. I, I hardly do any ever. So that could be a good reason why I have a lot of tension a lot of the time. So uh, that's good advice from Lee. Amy wants the shoes. Well, somebody's going to win them. I don't know when the draw is. Don't know when it's happening. I think there are more prizes ju than just the shoes though as well. Okay, we're getting close to the end now. 400 meters to go, 200 to the end of this kilometer. Managing to stay below 150 at the moment. I am still managing to stay below 150. Normally, I'm, I'm very, very close, if not already over 150 by now. Thank you very much for joining me, everyone. Stop. You can go as fast as you like at the arch, but stay on your toes. Ace Ventura, hello buddy. He says, good job boss. Okay, final 200 meters. I hope to see you all next week. 
or if you are very keen on Thursday. Clive says, well done everyone, thanks Clive. Amy says, great running everyone, see you later. Yeah, see you for the six o'clock run in Paris. If you want to join me or if you just want to watch. I'm not going to race it. It's going to be going gentle, gentle pace. I'm going to do a hard workout tomorrow. So Wednesday evening, we're going to do a hard Wednesday workout. I'm going to push it. So uh, that's Wednesday workout. So an easy one tonight. And we're done. 152 heart rate. Yeah, just at the end there, I got to 152. Uh, Lee says, thanks everyone. Mark Samuels said, great workout. Paul Cottrell, nice work everyone. Steve Milne, bye everyone, have a great day. And you, Steve. Yeah, that's, that's tough. You know, you don't realise. You don't realise how hard you've worked until you stop at the end. And then you're suddenly panting a bit. <laughs> Good. Good stuff. Okay. So at 6 p.m. we're doing an easy Under Armour Run the Worlds. Uh, Jason Darby says, nice job. But now, Amy says, I've just passed somebody running up a hill wearing wrist weights. Do you know what? Isn't that funny? Because yesterday, me and Victoria passed somebody running, holding weights in their hand. They were actually holding dumbbells, small dumbbells in their hand. Yeah, I mean, weighted running is a thing. Um, some people go on the hills with a backpack, weighted down with uh, tins of, of beans and things. Um, it just, you know, it just gives you a bit more of a workout and, and, and strengthens your legs just that little bit more. And, and then when you run without the weight, you feel like it's easier. So it's just a bit, it's kind of psychological training, but also a bit of more physical training. Um, weighted, weighted running is, is a thing. Okay, that's it everybody. We will see you tonight, 6 p.m. UK time for the Under Armour Run the World in Paris. And, uh, and then we'll do a hard workout on Wednesday. Take care everyone. Thanks for watching, thanks for the chat. And uh, well done to everyone who ran today. Cheers, bye-bye.